So hi, um, here with Nicholas from armdevices.net. And what we'd like to know, first of all, first of all, if you could please introduce yourselves. Uh, I'm Chris Shaw, there you go. Uh, I'm training manager with Arm, based in Cambridge in the UK. So I'm responsible for all of our customer training. I'm Dan Deering, and I'm engineering qualifications manager, and I run the Arm Accredited Engineer program. I'm also based in Cambridge in the UK. So Daniel, since I actually missed your session. <laughs> You're what? forgiven, but we're repeating it tomorrow, so you can come back and check it out. Tell me one big takeaway that the attendees got today that they did not expect to get. Did not expect to get, okay. Uh, so, so today's session was all about the new exam that we launched uh, in September um, just recently. Uh, it's the ARM accredited MCU engineer exam. And really, it was uh, a bit of an introduction from me about what the whole program is about. Um, but really the, the main purpose of the day was to give them a one-day primer on all of the subject matter that's covered by that exam. So it was, a, it was like a three-day training course condensed into one day, so it was a pretty full-on. Um. That sounds like an amazing jumpstart event. So today, obviously, you've done a full day, and you said that you'll be redoing the session tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, what we... will you be doing different tomorrow? Well, uh, well, we'll pretty much do the same thing again, but... Yeah. Um, Luckily or unluckily, we had an overwhelming response uh, to the session today. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we kind of found ourselves in the in the fortunate and, and maybe slightly embarrassing <laughs> position that that we're going to have to run it again tomorrow to accommodate all those people who couldn't get oh, in today. Wow. It was um, packed. It was packed. Yeah. It was yeah. packed out. Yeah. So very, we had a sold out crowd sitting in your session since what 11:30, right? Until 10:30. 10:30. 10:30 until yeah. 6 p.m. Yeah. 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 We had about 220 people there all day and pretty much all of them stayed to the end which uh, is yeah, quite it, it an was, achievement it was great because yeah. we, we worked them pretty hard today I have to say you know we say as Dan says we went through about three days worth of training in yeah. less than a day so yeah. we worked them pretty hard I think they should have got a lot out of it yeah Chris so as the education and training manager then how does it make you feel about the future of ARM as uh, as uh, if we're using today's metrics as uh, to see if what's going to happen in the future. The, the, the best thing about today is, is just the, the sheer kind of thirst for information there is about mm -hmm. ARM. You know, ARM usage is exploding and we have 220 people prepared to sit there all day and learn about it. Just the explosion in demand for information about ARM is fantastic. It's really, really exciting. What are the uh, most frequently asked questions from your attendees today? Uh, where can we get the presentation materials and how much does it cost? Uh, the cost of the ARM accredited MCU test in uh, the USA is $200. Mm -hmm. um, but what we've done today as a special uh, deal for the delegates today is we've given them a 20% discount uh, promotional code so, so they can all get $40 uh, off the, the cost of the test. Yeah, just by being here today. Yeah, and it was all free. Mm. They even got lunch. Yeah. They even got lunch. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's how you keep people in the room. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously, you've started this prog program. What are the next steps? How do you see yourself improving on today? Uh, uh, yeah, I'll take that one. So, um, the, the program uh, has been running effectively for about two years now. Um, we launched the first test last year in June, second test we've just launched in September. Um, we, we're, we're kind of in a, a period of consolidating those two exams now where uh, we're extending our um, training partner ecosystem all around the world. We've just signed up another three new training partners in India. Uh, we've signed up lots in um, China, Taiwan, Malaysia. Uh, we have some that we're going to sign up in Japan and Korea as well. And then of course in the USA and Europe. Um, we're, we're talking about deals with OEMs, uh, we're um, basically you know, activating that training ecosystem as well. People are coming through training and then going on to take the accreditation. So really more of the same, building up that whole ecosystem uh, and kind of in enhancing adoption of, of the, uh, the whole program. Yeah. So there's this thirst for information. Now we, want, we have to translate that into 
people's you know saying I want to know this stuff is now I want to prove I know this stuff mm. and get them to just just come and take the exam and you know put it on the business card I've t I you know I've studied this stuff I've taken the exam I passed it and it's not an easy exam to pass so we've just got we, we've got to you know let that feed through uh, into into exam candidates who are actually going to pass the exam and you um, just mentioned explosive growth all around the world if you had a hunch at the expense of which technology are these people switching over to ARM these days? Everything. Yeah. I, I don't think I could. I couldn't put my finger on, you know, and say they're all they're all giving up that, and they're all moving to ARM. I think it's it, it, we're picking up customers from everywhere. Don't forget that ARM covers everything from the tiniest microcontroller right up to server class 64-bit processors. So they're not coming from you know any one particular place. They're coming from all kinds of domains, all kinds of applications, all performance levels. They're all coming into the ARM range. So you can't put your finger on one thing. And this is one of the reasons why we've introduced this accreditation program, uh, because the, the, the range of new application areas uh, in which people are adopting ARM technology, you know, everything from medical devices, automotive, um, consumer devices, all manner of different things so there are new communities of people adopting arm technology who maybe haven't used it in the past so we're very keen to ensure that there's a consistent level of quality throughout the whole arm ecosystem uh, and, and this accreditation is is one way that we can help our customers to do that okay. so obviously you're familiar with uh, vendor certification programs from the likes of Microsoft and Cisco yeah where do you see uh, MCU, is that going to be the entry step, or how many steps are you planning to introduce in this ecosystem? But Dan has a big roadmap of <laughs> exams, which we kind of worked out probably about two years ago, at the beginning of this. And we've just, we've just taken small steps so far with two exams, and it's taken a lot of effort to get those exams out. Heck of a lot, mostly on the part of my friend here. <laughs> Uh, and, and you know, we, we have a roadmap that goes through more advanced exams, goes into graphics, operating systems, and then we have to look at the whole SOC design mm -hmm. subject as well. So there's a long way to go. We've just taken some small steps, but mm -hmm. I think they're very significant steps, but you know, it's the beginning of quite a long road, I think. For someone who hasn't had the chance to attend this training and will not have a chance to attend it tomorrow, and they're just watching this, and wondering how they can get started uh, developing an arm and working towards this accreditation, yeah. what would be the uh, first three steps they need to take? So, uh, so, so lots of people have told us since we introduced this program, uh, the syllabus of our first exam and now the syllabus of the second exam uh, actually provides a very good guide to all of the stuff that you need to know to be a good embedded software engineer, either working on Cortex-A or R or Cortex-M processors. So, so actually reading that syllabus and uh, on, on the website, on the ARM Accredited Engineer website, it's just arm.com slash AAE, um, you can find all the learning resources that you need in order to, um, to, to kind of work through those. It's all here. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's a, you know, the website is actually a very good resource to find all the, all the documents that you really need to get started. Uh, and the syllabus is actually a very good guide to all the stuff you need to know. Do we have, uh, I haven't had a chance to look through the website, what's the roadmap as far as uh, video sessions are concerned? Will there be a recording available of what happened here today? There's no recording of, of what happened today. Um, we will make the presentations available through our Arm Connected community. Uh, if you haven't already seen the Arm Connected community website, it was launched today, today. I believe. Um, so this is a significant milestone in, in Arm connecting with its community believe it or not yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so yeah I mean you know we, we really want to encourage people to get busy on that on connected community uh, to, to, to really kind of interact with each other use it as a forum use it as a um, an information resource as well so so we'll be putting the presentations up online on there because uh -huh. <coughs> I actually have had a chance to sign up on that site good oh good well done. Good. I ran into one of your community <coughs> managers earlier and she says, oh, by the way, have you heard about community.arm.com? Mm -hmm. okay. I have now. Excellent. Yeah. Get news. on it. Start contributing. But at the same time, many of the people who are contributing to this community, they have 
their enterprise systems. They may have their chatter feeds, they may have their Yammer mm -hmm. feeds. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, what plans do you have for integrating existing group software into the uh, community software that you guys run? Oh, gosh. I think you'd, go, you'd need to go and talk to your friendly neighborhood community manager to find that out. Yeah. But I'm sure they've got loads of plans. Yeah.